sorry today's and we're just going to enjoy the the uneventful nature of the weather forecast for a while now a local high school student created a work of art about a holocaust survivor and today for the very first time she met the inspiration for her painting i don't really have a good way with words but when i make a piece of artwork it i find out a little more about myself Cheryl Smith is in the AP art class at Tribuco Hills High School in Mission Viejo. She can do illustration, she can design book covers, she can be a fine artist, she can be a director, she has it all going. I started with using just gray tones because it's a very like dark, sullen feeling to it and then added bits of color with colored pencil. The inspiration for one of her latest works, Holocaust survivor Leon Lason. Five of us survived the war, this is the, the bottom line. Uh, out of everyone who was related to me in Poland. And we survived because we were on Schindler's List. One of the frequent requests of those people who were being sent to their death, if you survive, tell the world. We aired a documentary about Lason in December. Like many of our viewers, Cheryl was fascinated by his story. He was one of the few who was really open to speaking about it. He didn't really hold anything back. And that was one thing that drew me in. She read more about him and listened to his recollections. She took pieces of his story and she incorporated them into her painting, like the time he got Oscar Schindler's attention and the soldier who told Schindler's workers they were free. This is Leon today and he is physically on the list today because of these moments in his life. Go. Cheryl entered her piece in Chapman University's annual Holocaust Art and Writing Contest. I know so much about him, but I've never met him. It's a weird feeling. She became one of 30 finalists. Friday morning, before learning the outcome of the contest, she met her inspiration. You get dessert, my mind. Have you seen it? <laughs> I certainly have. Good. Tears. Oh. Thank you. After that special meeting, on to the award ceremony. Dozens of Holocaust survivors attended, along with hundreds of students, parents, and teachers. Cheryl Smith from Dubuque Health High School. She won second place. Ashley Austin, a senior at Polaris High School in Anaheim, took first place for her artwork. Oh, thank you. Cheryl took home much more than an award. I'll remember the whole day, but mostly meeting Leon for the first time. You did a wonderful job. <laughs> there are more than 5,000 students at this event today, and the beautiful thing is they sort of carry forward the mandate, which is to keep the memory alive and teach it to younger generations. Really inspirational. What, what a fine young woman. What a moment when she met him, too. That Extremely was just talented. Really All the pieces of work there, you would swear were done by adults. It was a really wonderful time. Interesting. Super. Very, very Great story. Thank, thank you very much, Fritz. You're welcome. We'll be right back. Tonight at 11, unemployment.